So you've acquired a vintage or an antique machine, but maybe too scared to clean it and afraid you're going to ruin the finish of the decals. Or maybe you found one for just a couple dollars and hesitant to take it because it looked to be pretty rough. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to safely and carefully clean the exterior of your vintage or antique machine without disturbing the decals and damaging the clear coat. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Andy Barney, and I teach the same service repair and restoration procedures used every single day in my professional service shop so that you can learn to care for your own machines and stop relying on the service shop. So the next few minutes, I'm going to help you properly clean the exterior of a vintage or antique sewing machine. So let's get started. So we're going to need a few supplies. The first thing are, these are shop towels. And, you know, my, my feelings are mixed. Paper towels will work okay. Um, but I, I suggest going ahead and purchasing a box of shop towels. The two options to clean. Now, there, you're going to hear all over the internet, all these other options. I've been doing this for over 13 years, and there's only two products I've ever used on the outside of machines, okay? And that's because they're proven to work. I, you, kerosene is absolutely is acceptable as long as you're working in a safe environment. So your first option is going to be sewing machine oil. And this is just pure sewing machine oil. This is nothing special. Zoom spout, um, sewing dot carries it, sewing parts online, a bunch of these places carry it, okay? And then this other product that you probably have heard me talk about on my channel, which is called Blue Creeper. Um, their whole story of Blue Creeper is available on my site. Um, it's not made for the sewing machine industry, but we found it to be a miracle product. This fully replaced um, kerosene in my shop. This is the only thing we use on machines or in machines, um, modern, vintage, everything. The thing I like about it is it also handles adhesive. So we're gonna start down here. And I am gonna do this video with Blue Creeper because that's what I'm used to. Um, you can do the same thing with sewing machine oil. You just may take a little longer. I just put a little ring around the edge there and I'm gonna put a little bit on there to help break up that adhesive, okay? And I also like to put my Blue Creeper into a small spray bottle, 99 cents at Walmart. And here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna spray down this machine so we can start cleaning it. So I just put a light mist. If you're using the bottle and not a spray bottle or sewing machine, you can also put it on your cloth and then wipe it down. You can also put sewing machine oil in a bottle to mist it. So let me back up here so a little bit so you can see better what this is gonna do. And I'm just gonna leave this tape sit for a minute, but you can see it's already taking off the dirt. Now, I like to not spread around dirt or grit. So if yours is really bad, be sure to use, be liberal with your towels, okay? Don't keep using the same dirty cloth over and over and spread that grit around on your clear coat, all right? Um, I'm gonna test our, yeah, and you can see this is starting to pull up here. Um, I'm gonna, just start getting off what I can. You may have to do this in layers. So don't force anything. You don't wanna pull up the clear coat, but if you have it ease over tape, just keep working on it. Let me get up here to a really dirty section for you to see. And in this case, because there's so many mechanisms there, I'm going to spray my cloth just a little bit here. Let's see if I can. And then I'm just gonna wipe down and you can see up here, what a difference this is making. And, you're, and you're, you can see these decals are already silvered. This is not harming the decals in any way, shape or form, and it's not going to. Um, I would not suggest rubbing really hard, but you can see it's taking off all the dirt and grime without disturbing the decals. And that's what we want. Sewing machine oil will do the same thing. Um, the, the Blue Creeper is gonna leave a small, like a really thin coat on there to protect it. Um, especially if it's a machine you're just cleaning now and not gonna get to later, it's gonna protect the clear coat from dust or dirt or anything else that lands on it. All right, so you can do this all the way around your machine. This is applicable on every single vintage and antique machine you can think of. Um, again, you're gonna find suggestions for other things on the internet. If you want a proven system that works flawlessly every time, this is the one. You can use it on metal. You can use it on the badges. You can do the same thing with sewing machine oil, but this is where I 